In this video, we're going to demonstrate how we can insert images into our spreadsheet, as well as creating some drawings. So inserting images is pretty simple and easy. Uh, if we have a spreadsheet, all we have to do is click the Insert menu and then come down to Image. Pretty basic. Uh, we can insert an image. You know, We can just upload one. We can just select an image here, and we'll go ahead and put that in. Very easy. We can pick this image up now, and we can move it around. We can place it wherever we like. Uh, we can even uh, change the image that's there. We'll assign scripts to it later. Um, we can make it bigger or smaller. You know, we can uh, we can do a few things. And if we don't really like the way we've kind of reformed it, we can just go ahead and reset its size. So images are pretty basic. If we want to insert an image that we upload, that was pretty easy. Uh, we can also, you know, we'll just go ahead and search for a taco here. Uh, we'll find a good image of a taco. And maybe we'll take like uh, this taco here. Oh, this and this came up with Taco Bell. Let's go ahead and just show tacos here. Uh, so if we just want to take a picture of a taco, we can actually right click on that and we can copy the image address and then we can insert that directly without having to upload. So if I insert an image and I click by URL, all I have to do is paste that URL in and then I can add that image as well. So you see now I have this taco image and uh, pretty straightforward here. We can make that taco small. We can put Clippy uh, over here and pretty simple to add these images. And we'll look more at this when we get into scripting and want to actually assign something to our images, assign some kind of script so that when we click on them it reacts in some interesting way. Drawings are also pretty easy to insert. We can insert a drawing. It's down there at the bottom of the menu and inserting drawings allows us to create basic drawings. So we could say like maybe we want to create an arrow here that points to a box. You know, maybe we have a box here we want to create maybe this. So uh, pretty easy to kind of drag and drop these different shapes here. You know, maybe we do this and we can move this up to the top. There we go, like that. And we can change the colors so we can change the way they're filled in. Maybe we want to use like a green for this one. Maybe the line color around it should be like a slightly lighter gray. Maybe we want to make this one. Maybe we want to have really big thick lines and uh, we can right click on that and edit the text in it. And maybe this is like, you know, this some event here. We'll go ahead and say some event leads to something that happens. And we can make this one a little bit, you know, we can change the thickness of the lines. We can even make them dotted lines. So you can see here we can use this and we could edit the text here and say this is a description of the thing. And we can even add connectors here. So we have these little arrows and they can be used to connect from one, uh, one box to another. And we've got some options on how we change that. So we can change the uh, arrow, the edges of the arrows here. Let's go ahead and make that one flat. And this can be, you know, like a pointy arrow. Uh, and then if we have another box, you know, if we have another, say, we'll have a circle here. And we can just click through there and just drop that circle. Now we can connect these. And that way they stay connected as we move things around. Um, now, it's, we can't really make these di driven by data, uh, but we can kind of create a nice little diagram or a chart here. You know, maybe we want to make this arrow a little bit bigger, and we want to make it, say, like an eight-point arrow, and maybe make the this thicker, the border around this. So uh, we can kind of create our charts to, to show us some description or some sequence of events. Uh, and, you know, we can then download this. We can create a, P a PDF or a PNG or a JPEG. Uh, but some basic options for drawing, for inserting text. Uh, we can even insert images into our drawings. You know, if we want to uh, go ahead and throw in our uh, taco, we can put our taco in into our drawing as well. And that'll load up. Here we go. We can make that taco a little bit smaller. And we'll just put that down here in the corner. Uh, we can then move this. And, uh, pretty easy to kind of to kind of move things around. We can also copy and paste values from our uh, from our drawing. So if I select, say, uh, my my box here, and I hold down Shift and select my arrow, I can right click and I can copy. And I can also use uh, copy paste here. And then I can also just paste this here. And oh, it's telling me I need to use my shortcuts here. So Control C, Command Z. Uh, or control C or command C and then control C command V and you know, see I can easily create multiples of these so that if I want to create you know if I select this arrow now I can connect 
two different boxes to this circle. Maybe I move this one around. Maybe I change where that arrow is pointing to. Uh, but I can very easily create these simple drawings. You know, let's make this. We'll make it red instead. And we'll move our taco out of the way. But once I do that, I save and close, and that drawing is just going to show up right in my spreadsheet. So I can move that around now. I can resize that within my spreadsheet. Uh, pretty easy to kind of modify that. Now, we'll also be able to assign scripts to our drawings at some point when we get into scripting. Um, but for now, you can use this to kind of customize your spreadsheets or show something that maybe isn't data-driven, but maybe adds a little bit, bit of a color or flavor to your spreadsheet. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll, we'll get into another exercise with uh, charts and graphs and drawings in, in our next video.